Praise God. How is everyone today? Um, I do thank God, of course, you know, that's what you have to do in the beginning of anything is, you know, thank God that you can uh, wake up and say, thank, thank you, Jesus. And um, you could say, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So these are things that we thank God for because he is to be thanked. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I do thank you, Father, for this day. I thank you, O oh God, for the many blessings that you have bestowed upon us and for how you kept us by your grace and your mercy, oh God, not by our will, but by your will. I thank you and I praise you, Father. Hallelujah. I know, Father, that, uh, you know, I just thank you for everything that you do for us. Your keeping power. Hallelujah. I thank, thank God for it. Well, <clears throat> I'm still on the subject of free will. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I, um, I just thank and praise God that, um, when he called me, when he when I ask him into my heart, to come into my heart, to forgive me of my sins, when I ask God that, hallelujah, I made the decision to choose Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to your wonderful name, Father. Hallelujah. And I used my free will to do it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Um, you know, there. it's been said that uh, we don't have free will. We don't have the, the mind or the capacity to say, uh, Lord, forgive me, uh, a sinner. Hallelujah. But when the Spirit of God moves upon a sinner, when the Spirit of God moves upon the sinner, that sinner still does have to use his free will to accept Jesus Christ as his Savior. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Thank you, Jesus. You know, uh, when I discuss the Word of God, and, you know, there's a disagreement to, um, to the subjects that's been spoken of with anyone on the YouTube, on the net, Anyone that speaks or uh, comments on the subjects, hallelujah, can use their will, their free will, to give me an answer. Hallelujah. They can make up in their own minds of whether they want to uh, discuss this matter or not. Discuss it. Hallelujah of whether they feel like we don't have free will to discuss a matter or if uh, we don't have uh, free will to say, well, uh, listen, I've got to go to the bathroom. Um, that is free will. I mean, God is not going to tell you to go to the bathroom. I said this in another in another video. If you have to go, you get up and you go. 
If you have to eat, you get up and you go eat. You don't have to ask God if you can go eat. It's your choice. It's your free will. You can go and eat if you want to. Or if you don't want to, you don't have to. You've made a decision. You've made a decision to do it. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Uh, there's some things that I would like to uh, read that's been said. You know, I hate doing that. I hate reading and quoting things that people have said um, just to prove a point. Hallelujah. Just to say, well, I'm right and you're wrong. I hate doing that. Hallelujah. But a lot of people, they don't know uh, the depth of a situation or, um, f or for the reasons why um, it's been spoken. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, I know that a sinner, they have free will too. You know, they have, a, they have free will to make up in their mind of whether they are going to serve God. They've got to. Or not serve him. There's no other way. There's no other way you can do it. If the Holy Spirit comes upon that sinner and that sinner sa says, Lord, forgive me. Jesus said that to choose ye this day. How can you get past that word? Choose ye this day whom you will serve. Will it be God or will it be mammon? How can you get past that word? God says, I set before you life and death, blessings and cursings. Choose life. He said, choose life that you and your seed may live. Hallelujah. So if we didn't have a choice, why would God put that in the word? Why would he put that in the word to choose things? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God put those words in there. Jesus spoke those words. Choose ye this day whom you will serve. And when a sinner hears those words, the Spirit of God is going to come upon them. The, the Spirit of God is going to draw them. He said, Jesus said, if you lift me up, I will draw all men unto me. He said he would draw all men unto him if we lift him up. And when we lift him, lift up the name of Jesus and, um, and a sinner hears that word, they still have to make it up in their minds of whether they are going to choose God or reject him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The choice belongs to us. Glory to your name. Thank you, Jesus. I brought up um, the book of Job. And um, I had shared with this person that That Job, uh, God did not make Job serve him. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God didn't make Job serve him. Um, when the devil went before God, hallelujah, the sons of God, they came before the Lord and they stood in front of the Lord. And so God said, Satan or Lucifer, uh, where have you been? What have you been doing? Satan says walking uh, to and fro, up and down in the earth. And, um, and, and then God, I believe God was angry when Satan came before the Lord because the Lord knew what Satan wanted. And he says, are you considering my servant Job? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, so Satan said, the only reason that Job is serving you is because you've got a hedge around him. You've got a hedge around him, and, um, and he's only serving you for what you give him. And God knew that that wasn't the truth. And that's why he said, are you considering my servant Job? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's read what he said. That would be Job 1 and 1. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. There was a in the uh, there was a man in the land of Oz whose name was Job, and that man was perfect and upright, and one that feared God and eschewed evil, or stayed away from it. Hallelujah. And there were born unto him seven sons and three daughters. His substance was also 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, so on and so forth. The man was rich. The man had money. The man had substance, which God blessed him with. And in another video, I said it's no sin to be a rich person. It's no sin to be rich. The man was rich. If Job was rich, why can't I be rich in houses and land? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. And this is the thing that happened with Job. He, um, every day this man would uh, get sacrifices ready. He would rise up early in the morning and offer sacrifices unto the Lord for his children. And it's said that just in case they sin. And uh, so so uh, Job did this continually, hallelujah. And actually it was a phobia. Job had fear, hallelujah. Okay, and now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan came also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said unto him, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. See, this is what he does. Hallelujah. This is what he does. Satan goes, just like Jesus said, that he is like 
a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Hallelujah. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that fears God and eschewth evil? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Doth Job fear God for naught? He's saying, Does Job fear you because uh, you give him things? He's saying, This is the only reason that Job, Job is, uh, is serving you, because you give him things. And, um, and hast thou not made a hedge about him and about his house and about all that he hath on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands and his substance is increased in the land. See, the devil knows what's going on. The devil knows that God blessed Job. I mean, he says so right here. Now, God blessed Job. The devil even admitted that. And there is nothing wrong with being rich. Hallelujah. Ha hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There's nothing wrong with it. Hallelujah. You just don't let that richness that God blesses you with, you just don't let it overtake you. And then it could be the love of money. It would be the love of money. Hallelujah. That a, that a man or a woman sins because of it. Because they make that money their God. That's when it becomes a sin. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And um, so Satan says, Put forth thine hand now, and touch all that he hath, and he will curse thee to thy face. And the Lord said, Behold, that he hath, all that he hath is in thy power. Only upon himself put not forth thine hand. So Satan went from the Lord, from the presence of the Lord. And you all know the story. Those of you who, who has read Job, this is uh, the first chapter. Hallelujah. You all know uh, that what Job has done uh, was that he, he feared. He opened the door with fear. Hallelujah. It wasn't God that did that to Job. Job did that to himself. He said, the thing I greatly feared hath come upon me. And if you have fear, you open a door to uh, anything that the devil uh, is big enough to do. Hallelujah. Saying and do whatever he can do if he knows that you have fear. And God says that he has not given us the spirit of fear, but of peace and of love and of a sound mind. Job did not have a sound mind. And he didn't have peace. Because he feared that something was going to go wrong. And when you have that fear uh, that things are going to happen, then God can only let it happen. But the man, but the uh, the devil said that that if if God took away everything that he had, 
that Job would curse him to his face. So he's saying that this is the reason that Job is serving you. It's because you give him things. But take it all away. And he's going to curse you. Hallelujah. And this was Job's free will. Hallelujah. This was Job's free will. I don't care what you all say. I don't care how you think of it, how you think of me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know how you all can get away from having free will. Thank you, Jesus. You can choose. Jesus said it. You can choose. God said it. You can choose. It's all through the Bible. And I'm not saying that you put your own self above God. How can you do that without God smiting you? Hallelujah. Without God bringing you down. Nobody, no man is more, more powerful than God. There is not one man on this earth that has more power than God. God afflict you like a booger. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. So, yes, we do have free will. Paul said, I say this by permission, or I say this as a man. That's what Paul said. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When he was... Uh, bringing things out. He says, I speak this as a man. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I'm going to come back. I don't like to take too long on these videos, but hallelujah. You be blessed. And highly favored of the Lord, as I also am blessed and highly favored of the Lord.